how to write SEO optimized blog posts for your blogs using chat GPT that can actually rank on Google and outrank your competitors. Hey guys, this is Shine from ReviewShine.com and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use chat GPT absolutely safely to create blog posts for you that are SEO optimized and that can rank on Google bypassing the AI detection test and bypassing the reuse content test as well. Now, if all that sounds interesting to you, then please stick on with me till the end of this tutorial because this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial where I'm going to show you everything right from the scratch. The best part here is that after watching this tutorial, you would be able to create as many blog contents as you want to in any topic that you want to and that will be absolutely SEO friendly. With that being said, if you are yet not subscribed to my channel, then please consider subscribing to this channel and hit on the bell notification icon because this is the only channel where you get genuine and authentic information just like this. Without further ado, I will jump inside of my laptop screen and show you everything so that you can follow along. With that being said, let's dive in. So the step one is introducing yourself to ChatGPT. So for that, we will go over to chat.openai.com. And in here, if you already have an account, you can log in. Or if you don't have, just click on sign up. And you can use your Google account to actually sign in. Just click on continue with Google. And in here, choose your user. And it looks like this. Now in here, we just need to go over to this new chat. And in here, we just need to give it an instruction. Like, say, for example, I've said it to write a blog post about weight loss in 30 days. So if we hit on enter, then as you can see, it is creating the blog post. So let's wait for it to create it. So now, as you can see, it has generated the blog post and you can see it is quite a nice one. But the problem with this is that if you go ahead and post this in your blog, it will be caught for reused content and it would be caught for AI detection as well. So this is the normal way of creating blog posts using chat GPT, but this doesn't work. I'm going to show you the Ninja way of creating it. So we'll do it in a step by step manner. So the first step about it is installing a brand new extension for chat gpt which is ai prm now for that we will go over to the three dots over here and then we'll click on settings and in here we'll come down over here and click on extensions again this three bars click on that and click on open chrome web store and in this search bar over here just type ai prm and hit on enter now, as you can see, I have already gone ahead and added this for my usage because I use them daily. Now, in your case, you just need to click on this and then you just need to add it into Chrome. Since my case, it's already added, so it's coming as remove, right? So once this is done, all that you need to do is that we just need to reload our chat GPT. So let's do that. So if we hit on refresh, you can see now the interface looks a little different, right? Because AI PRM has been installed. Now, in here, first of all, we'll select the title for our blog post. So that's step one, selecting the title for your blog post, right? So for that, we'll come over to this topic over here. Click on here and go over to copywriting. And in here, we just need to scroll down a little. You can see there are plenty of prompts. Now, why this is important is that AI PRM has a collection of done-for-you prompts that works with chat GPT. These are created by the best in the industry. So these are proven and tested prompts, right? Which produce the best results from chat GPT. So here in, we have this blog post title generator. So I'll click on that. And as you can see over here, the blog post title generator has been added. Now we need to select our language, which is English. That's okay. Then we need to choose the tone. So for this, we will go for default and the writing style we will choose it default as well. But remember, if you are into a paid version of AI PRM, you are going to have some additional features in these as well. Now that being said, we just need to enter our keywords over here. So our keyword was weight loss in 30 days, right? So I've entered that and now let's hit on enter. So as you can see, it has gone ahead and generated 10 different title ideas for my blog post. Now, now I could have gone ahead and choose any of them, but that would have been unscientific. We would create a blog around some keyword that has a good search volume but a low competition, right? So for that, we will head over to a keyword tool, which is called the Keyword Planner. So just open a new tab and in here, just type Keyword Planner. And in here, you can see the Google Keyword Planner tool. Just click on that. Then go to Keyword Planner. And in here, click on Discover New Keywords. And then in here, you just need to copy all the keywords that you have got. That is all these titles. Just select all of them. Right click, click on Copy. Go over to Keyword Planner again. And in here, just right click and hit on paste. Now, once this is done, as you can see over here, just go over here and click on get results. And in here, if you scroll down, so now here you can see it has actually given you the average monthly searches, the competition and all the stuff over here, right? So ideally, we would go for something with a high monthly search and a low competition, right? So let us choose a keyword on that. Like this one seems a good one. So let's click on that and click on copy. So now that we have actually figured out what our 
title is we will go over to the chat GPT again and this time we will tell it to write something else for us. So we will click on new chat and in here this time we will select SEO just click on that and we will actually select this one over here human written 100% unique SEO optimized article right so just click on that and in here we had already copied it from the keyword planner so we'll just paste it so now as you can see i posted it over here now i'll just hit on enter and boom it is going to write this for us so let's wait for it to write it now that the blog post is created you can see the quality it has got it nicely outlined then you can see it has got the article it has got the weight loss plan it has got introduction it has got cause of obesity diet plan for weight loss and what not you can see it is a detailed one that it has which actually google loves along with faqs as as well so that's quite nice now let us see if it passes the duplicity testing or not so let's copy this so let's copy this and go over to a site called duplichecker.com and in here we will just paste the one that we had copied now since we have pasted it all that we need to do is go down over here and click on i am not a robot and then click on check plagiarism and as you can see it's scanning for the plagiarism so let's wait so as you can see here the results now 83 percent is unique and 17% is plagiarism content, right? So it is a good one, by the way, because 83% unique content is a good one to have. But if we scroll down over here, then we can find all the contents that are plagiarism oriented, right? So we can find them highlighted over here as well. So with that being said, now all that we need to do is copy this, go over to our blog and in here, just go over to the writing area and paste it, right? So you can see that it has been pasted over here and it has got this uh, formatting all done right and you can see all of these are highlighted as well like the ones where we need to make the changes so so now we are actually going to make it plagiarism free so for that we'll copy this just like this right copy and go over to chat gpt again and in here we'll click on new chat and we will say something like rewrite in 100 percent unique words and then uh, semicolon open and then the article and then the phrase and then again semicolon close and hit enter and you can see it has actually rewritten it so we can just copy this and go ahead and make the change over here just like this right and in the same way we need to do this for all of these things right so we will again find this over here go ahead and copy this entire thing go over to chat gpt again and again say rewrite and hit on enter and you can see it has rewritten it right so we are going to copy this again go back to our blog and make the change in the same way we just need to proceed all the way and make all the necessary changes as you can find over here so let me do that quickly so now that the changes are made let us copy this again and go over to the plagiarism checker and let's again input it after making the changes and click on i am not a robot and click on check plagiarism and in here you can see it's 100 percent unique so remember i told you i'll show you how you can actually bypass google's checking as well so this is exactly the way you can do it right so now our post has got everything done right so now we have entered the title we have uh, got the description we have got the article everything right so now we can actually go ahead and format this even more we can actually do this headline kind of thing so and we are going to convert it into a heading and in the similar way we are going to do this for all of the stuffs right we just need to scroll down over here and select this again and convert this into a headline again so transform it into a heading and in this way you can just go ahead and format the entire text right now once this is done just click on save draft we have actually done everything but we haven't check the seo score so for that we'll go over to the dashboard of wordpress now in here we'll scroll down to find plugins over here just click on that and click on add new and in here we are going to search for a plugin called rank math and just hit on enter and here you go the rank math seo plugin just click on install now once done click on activate so now as you can see it has been installed over here so now we'll again go back to the post that we are working on so go on all post and remember we had saved it as a draft and as you can see over here it has got a score of only 10 so you can't expect this to rank right so in here you just need to go ahead and make these changes as it tells you right the first one is add a focus keyword to the seo title so we can find the focus keyword here which is blank as of now so now let's enter a focus keyword say weight loss diet right and let's hit on enter and you can see that the seo score has changed right so right from 10 it went up to 57 so in this way we are actually going to change all of this you can see it 
this one has been in the green. Now this one is on the red. So focus keyword not found in your SEO meta description, right? So for this, we'll go ahead and click on this edit snippet. And in here, you can see the title and in here, you can see the description as well. These two are not there. So we'll go back to chat GPT. Now you can go under the copywriting and you can just crawl down over here to find this meta title description. So just click on that. And in here, we need to put the keyword like weight loss diet right and hit on enter and you can see here the title and the description has been given so copy the title go over to edit post and in here just have it with your title and then go over to the meta description copy this and go over to edit post again and in here paste it and you could see it has increased so in this way the more you go inside of this, the more this will keep on increasing, right? So the focus keyword doesn't appear at the beginning of your content. So that means right at the start of your content, which is here, you need to add the weight loss diet word, right? Like with the right weight loss diet plan you can, and exercise routine, you can lose your weight naturally and maintain a healthy lifestyle, right? So this does, shouldn't appear like a spam, right? Make sure that it appears in a right way. And now, as you can see, I have changed this and the ranking goes up to 62, right? And this time it should get tick over here as well. So I have basically fixed all the basic SEO. Now we can go ahead and fix the additional SEO. We can change the title readability and content readability as well. If you just follow the simple steps, like it will show you everything, right? For an example, add an image with a focus keyword as all text. So that's all that we need to do. So we will come over here and right at the start maybe, we can actually go ahead and add it. So we will click on this and we will click on insert before and you can see the block has been inserted. Now you can just click on this plus sign over here and go for image and in here you can go for media library as well and maybe you can choose this one just for an example and on the alt text you need to write weight loss diet and click on select and boom as you can see it has been added and boom there you go the score has increased right so in this way you can actually go ahead and make it up to 99 to 100 percent as well now i'm not doing that because i've just shown you the way how to do it you can go ahead and do that for yourself as well now once this is done make sure that you add enough images to make it even more readable and to make the content stand out now once everything is done just go ahead and hit on publish and boom it would be published so before making it published make sure that the seo score is as high as as possible right so now once this is done you can also take a view of how it looks so just click on that and you can see it looks quite good right it has everything in here it has got it formatted and it should be able to rank as well now with that being said that was how you can create a post from scratch but let me tell you how you can actually optimize an already existing post say for example if we go over to this uh, website over here then we can see that it has got multiple posts over here and some of them are already published say for example this one so if we click on that as you can see it is a nicely written post over here so if we go through this you can see so quite cool now all that we need to do is we need to just copy this url so now let us copy this and let us go over to chat gpt and this time we will go over to new chat again and in here we will actually hit on this rewrite text 100 percent human score just click on that. In here, we will type on rewrite blog post. So in here, we will choose the topic as all. And in the search box, we will give something as rewrite. And this will bring in here, rewrite article, right? So we just need to select that. And in here, we need to paste the original article link. Just paste it over here and hit on enter. And boom, you can see that it is already rewriting it. Now, we would apply the same sort of things. That is, we will go ahead and check that using Dupli checker and we'll make the necessary changes and then we'll go over to rank mat and actually SEO optimize it and then repost it and in this way you can actually increase the SEO score of your existing blogs as well. So I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial on how you can write SEO optimized blog posts for your blogs from the scratch or you can reuse your previous blog contents to write SEO optimized blog posts that can actually rank in google with that being said if you found it interesting and if you found some value in it please consider subscribing to this channel and hit on the bell notification also please like this video and share this with your friends so that they can also write SEO optimized blog post using chat gpt with that being said this is your good friend shine bidding goodbye from you we'll meet again pretty soon somewhere with some other videos until then please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to keep making money online signing off is shine from Academy. Take care. Bye-bye.